Hello again, and welcome back. Today we're going to play some Power Blade, so let's begin. In 2191, Earth's blissful existence was governed by a powerful master computer. This is basically the plot of a lot of movies, and a, probably a lot of video games too. So we're, everything's controlled by a giant computer, then one day something went wrong with the master control program. Chaos ensued as people panicked. Nova was summoned. This is basically my like number one nightmare. Look at Nova. <laughs> He's huge. So then the game basically tells us exactly what we have to do. So in each um there are six stages. And in each stage there are uh, a contact that you have to find and the con once you find the contact they'll give you an ID badge the ID badge gets you access to the security room and then inside the security room is a boss you defeat the boss and then um, and then uh, you get a secret tape unit then once you have all the all the tape units it gives you access to the the main sector that uh, houses the computer and then we destroy the computer and, and win the game as they would say in the 90s um, when this game came out in, uh, in Japan, it was called, uh, Power Blazer, um, instead of Power Blade, and it was sort of written off as, um, like a cheap, uh, Mega Man clone, because in that version, the, the main character that you control is like a little blue robot that looks a lot like Mega Man, and you get to choose what stage you play, and, and there's power-ups and things like that, and people sort of called it a Mega Man clone and then when Taito brought it over to North America they changed a whole bunch of stuff and and they salvaged uh, a fantastic game out of it that definitely stands on its own two feet in my opinion um, as we'll see so I'm gonna play it on expert mode I haven't actually beat it on expert mode but normal mode is is pretty easy there's um there's a number of key differences um, which I'll, I'll explain but uh, here we are in sector one. So we get to control Nova, and our our weapon is the power blade, this awesome uh, boomerang weapon. That's the coolest thing about this game. So um, in the uh, in the North American release, the stages are totally different than the Japanese ones. Okay, I'm just gonna pass that guy. Um, in the Japanese release, the stages are all pretty linear, apparently, but in, in this game, uh, the stages are all sort of non-linear. There's, like, branching paths that you go through, and um, I'd really like to get the Japanese version and give it a try. Um, but it's kind of Metroid-like. Like, you gotta, you, gotta, you gotta explore, and there's, like, paths that go up and down and left and right, and it's pretty cool, I gotta say. So over here is the first... Um, um, metal suit power-up. That's what the, uh, that's what the manual calls it. It's the metal suit. And, uh, so when you pick it up, you get this, like, robot-esque power-up thing that gives you a different weapon and gives you three extra hit points. Once you get hit three times, you lose it. Alright, so that little star I just got, um, that increases my power meter. So up, up at the top, um, once this dialogue is gone, you can see the power meter, and as you fill that up, you can throw the power blade um, further, um, which is pretty sweet. There's also power-ups that allow you to throw more than one at a time, like two or three, and um, there's also different colors of power blade that you can get, and uh, the red one is the best, so before we go into a boss, we'll We'll try and have the red one. It does it does more damage than the uh, purple or the blue one, the stock one. There's also um there's also sort of these uh, grenade things that are uh, basically screen clearing bombs that are good for when you're sort of in a tight spot and there's lots of enemies around messing up your day. Um, there's a couple of interesting things about about the way the game works um, as far as continues go. We have unlimited continues 
And, oh, here's the red boomerang. Fantastic. Um, we have unlimited continues. And once you get an ID card like we got from that guy, um, you have it forever. So you don't have to go get it again. But um, the energy tanks, you can only get once. There's energy tanks hidden around in, in the stages as well. Oh, man. I don't like getting hit in this area because it's just pointless. Here's a little tip for you. When you go down this ladder, make sure you're facing left first. So when you drop down here, you're facing left and you can hit those guys. Otherwise you get hit and it's no fun. Um, so as I was saying, there's energy tanks hidden around the stages as well. And um, just like Mega Man, you know, you can refill your energy bar with it. Um, but they're sort of interesting. So once you get it, you got it and that's the only time you're going to get it. And what I mean by that is, you have it, and say you get game over. Then it'll still be in your in inventory when you continue. Here's one. Um, there's that hamburger there was health, but this this thing here is uh, is the first energy tank. Um, so if I press a star, I can select between the the grenade and the energy tank, and you activate it with uh, the select button. But um, anyway, so. Say you have one, and then you get game over. You still have it if you haven't used it, but once you use it, um, you've used it and it's gone forever. So even if you get game over and you start the stage over from scratch, it's gone and you're not, you're not getting it again. So you gotta be sort of careful when you use it. All right, here we are at the first boss. There we go, he's not too hard. And that's it for Sector 1. Sector 1 is done. I don't like, um, Sector 2's boss is not, is, is my least favorite. So let's talk about the differences between Expert Mode and Normal Mode. So, um, in Normal Mode, there's no knockback. So you know how, like, when you play Castlevania or Ninja Guy and then you get hit, you get knocked backwards and usually fall down a hole? So in normal mode, there is no knockback, and it, it sort of makes the game... It's actually just like, it's a really fun game to play on normal mode, because there's just enough challenge to, to make it fun, but uh, you're also, it's, it's easy to be pretty good at and get through, so it's lots of fun to play, and it doesn't take very long, because there's only seven stages. But, um, whoops. But in expert mode, there is knockback, so when you get hit, um, you don't always get knocked back, but you do get knocked back a lot of the time. And, uh, you tend to fall down holes and all the great, great stuff that you come to know and love with NES game, knockback. See, what else is there? There's apparently fall damage in expert mode. It said in, I was reading the manual, and it said in the manual, um, beware great heights, falls from great heights. Which I assume means that there's fall damage, but I can't really confirm that because I haven't experienced it yet. Um, what else is there? So the, oh yeah, the other thing is, um, there may or may not be a boss rush. In normal mode there is no boss rush, but apparently in expert mode there is. So, when you get to the end of the stage, um, you gotta fight every boss again. But it definitely doesn't exist in normal mode, so I can't, uh, I can't really confirm or deny yet because I haven't haven't beat it. <laughs> I haven't beat it on Expert yet. But we'll see when we get there. You must be Nova. I am your contact here. Take this ID card for Sector 2. Good luck. There's a security breach. It's coming from Sector 2. Sector 2? So, um... The other interesting thing is, um, you can go back in the sectors that you've already, you've already completed. Which I will do, probably, after this. Because, there's an, on the other path that you can take, there's, uh, there's an energy tank. And, uh, and a metal suit. So, I'll probably go back for that. If I don't get game over. These things are a pain, because they take forever. I really don't, uh, I think you basically just have to get hit on this one. Oh, oh, I didn't get hit. Okay. I usually get hit on that one. But I guess if you wait till it's at the top, it doesn't hurt you. 
There we go. These things take forever. It's really tedious. Another sort of a tedious, annoying thing about this game that I find to be a minor, minor, of minor uh, inconvenience is uh, there's a few jumps. So like, um, not this one here. This like this this gap right here. You really gotta you really gotta run off the edge in order to make it far enough. And uh, there's one coming up that is especially annoying. This one right here. I seem to fall I fall on this a lot. <gasps> you really gotta run off the edge. Okay, here we are. I really don't like this boss. But here we go. Got full power up. This is key. Oh man. Oh man. There we go. Sweet. And I didn't have to use an energy tank, which is ideal. So the thing with the energy tanks is you can hold up to four of them and say you find a fifth one and you grab it, it's gone forever. So you might as well use one because you can only hold four. All right, this is going well. Sector three. All right, so straight down the first ladder is one of these guys, an energy tank. And I believe down this ladder is a metal suit. Let's see here. Yeah, these guys are always guarding metal suits. Fantastic. Let's kill that guy. So he's out of our out of our way. I think the Oh oh no. That's unfortunate. All right, let's go back down. Okay, that didn't hurt. That's about as far as I could fall. So maybe there isn't fall damage. Oh, see, look, it's gone. Okay, that that's uh, that's a good lesson. It's gone. Um, it's gone until you get game over. Oh, just a waste. A waste of a good metal suit. So let's just kill these things. Okay. All right, I'm not used to uh, not used to dealing with those in uh, in the regular mode. Oh, jeez, Louise. Okay, let's try that again, shall we? In the regular mode, you know, you don't get knocked back, so it's no big deal. They're uh, they're easy to kill with uh, with this thing, so we'll see. Maybe I can get it that way. No, we can always take we can always take a different path. There we go, that's better. I better be careful. There's probably more of them. Oh oh jeez. Okay, think about what you're doing here. That's a long jump. Okay, I gotta make sure I do it at the bottom. Oh tight. See, it'd be nice if I had a little bit more power up. I think I can quite reach this guy. Oh yes, thank goodness. Perfect, more power up. Okay, so I believe down is the way forward and up takes us to the contact. So there's the, the like blue one. So now we, we do a little bit more damage, I think. The other thing about the metal suit is that the projectile goes through platforms. The, the power blade itself doesn't go through platforms. Um, which is pretty cool about the uh, the metal suit. There he is, yeah, he's over there. Hi, I'm over here. Guys, hello. <laughs> it's not very conspicuous. They're not very inconspicuous. Okay, good. Got ourselves an ID card. I like the way he runs too. He's like, huh, 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 gotta go, gotta go fast. Pump those arms. Something really charming about the way NES sprites move. I just, I love it. Okay, 
down we want to go. Need some more. Some more, uh, some more power. I don't know what that was. Okay, um, what do you think? I don't remember what's down here. Oh, sweet. More awesome metal suit action. Oh, yes. Yes, gotta love more power. So the enemies do respawn, obviously, but uh, for some reason it doesn't feel as as ruthless as Ninja Gun. Yes, okay, f uh, not quite full power up, but pretty darn close. There we go. Fortunately, the um, the Sector Three boss is is really easy. Oh, that's a big jump too. I just don't like those. Don't like those at all. I think the I, I think the manual is lying about the fall damage thing. It doesn't seem like I'm getting hurt from the falling at all. All right, we made it. You ready for this boss? What's it gonna be? A giant robot? Another dragon? Who knows? It's a beehive, and bees come out of it, and you gotta shoot the bees. I don't- I don't get this. <laughs> Such a strange thing. I'd really like to get the, uh, the Japanese one and see what- what it's like. Cause if the stages are totally different, it's basically... It's like Power Blade 3. <laughs> or this is like Power Blade 2, and Power Blade 3 is like Power, Power Blade 3. I gotta get that. I looked it up on eBay before- before recording, and it, it wasn't, uh... It wasn't super cheap, but it wasn't super expensive either. Just murdering bees. I really don't know if there's anything else I sh I'm supposed to be doing. This, there we go, just kill each one. I don't know if I'm like, am I doing damage to the opening? Or do I just have to kill a certain number of bees? I don't know. But that's it for Sector 3. And on to Sector 4. It's nice that your um, power-ups carry over to the next level, too. You can get a good run going on and, uh, and enjoy your power-up from before. I love that it's a hamburger. It's always like a, it's always like a chunk of meat. This is like the lowest common denominator of <laughs> NES health power up. So up and over we go, and I believe if we go right we can get another metal suit. I think it's uh oh jeez. I think it's down here. Yes it is. Fantastic. Up we go. So I think that's what I want to do. I don't exactly remember. Let's try going this way. Let's see here. Is this the way I want to go? I don't, I, don't, I don't know if it is. Oh, let me see here. Uh, I guess we'll just we'll just give it a whirl and see where where we end up. I'm starting to think that maybe the contact was downwards. Oh, right, another metal suit up here. Okay, well, let's just go down and see. At least we're, yeah, making our way down anyway. I can't, uh, can't recall. That's what's great about this game. The stages are so um, like a labyrinth kind of. Okay, left and down. It's got to be. Yeah, he's down here somewhere. I remember now. 
Yeah, there he is. Whoa! Hi! Have to get right, right in him. Fantastic. Now, I think if we go back up to the right and go right, um, that's the way forward, I believe. The music is pretty good, too. Oh, see, okay, I can't go back right. I have to go back up around again. Right. Okay, yes, I'm remembering now. Because just just over here to the left is another, another energy tank. Oh, and I died for it. Not cool. Not cool, man. The worst part about dying is going back to the blue boomerang. Oh, that was not worth it. Okay. Oh! I'm gonna get game over. Focus. Alright, I'm gonna try and get this one more time. Okay, I don't know why I'm trying, trying to kill that guy. It's kind of pointless. Maybe if I jump a little further away. Okay, there we go. I don't like the, that jump there because you can hit your head. Okay, okay, and this is where that metal suit was. So that wasn't the best. I could have got that metal suit on the way back. That would have been better because then I'd be, you know, going into the boss with a metal suit. Well, no, I'll remember that for next time. How about a, how about a, how about a boomerang that's red, people? Now, now I can't remember. Left, or I mean, um, I gotta go, I gotta go down and then right again. Pretty sure. Down through here and then, oh jeez, I had my hand off the button there. Scratching my nose. Come on, red boomerang. Nope. No dice. Yeah, now we go right. Up we go. Another hamburger. Because Nova's a hungry, hungry boy. That'd be nice to have a metal suit right now. These things are pretty much right out of Mega Man 2. Oh, jeez. Dang. That's game over. That's fine. We got a nice metal suit. Help us out a little bit. Cause I should be able to should be able to get the metal suit and then just head up to the to the boss. That's bad. I'm just gonna, just gonna go down and get it, and then go back up. That's that's what I'm supposed to do. I'm pretty sure. Back up and then. Oh man, that's dumb. Oh good. Oh. oh, there's that other one up top there. I'm gonna go grab that one too. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Go up, get the other power suit metal suit thing get some more power up and we'll be all we all set oh okay well at least there's another one up here there we go right down and to the right and then to the right even more now we're getting it I don't hand off the controller again in the same spot. Like an idiot. Big dumb idiot. You gotta really, you gotta, you gotta conserve the, conserve the metal suit. 
Don't take silly hits from guys that just run around shooting willy-nilly. I find it kind of hard to shoot down on an angle in this game for some reason. Maybe the pads on my dog bone are going a little wonky. I'll have to change them out. That's what's so much nicer about the metal suit. Just take those enemies out early. Through the platform. Okay, this is what got me last time, wasn't it? Yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get killed by you twice in a row. Oh, these guys move so quick. Oh yes, right. This this bit of nightmare nonsense. Glad I didn't try and jump that because that would have been a terrible idea. Okay, here we go. Big jump. I'm gonna wait till that one's on its way down. Seems like a safer idea. Ah! Here we go. Jumping now. Didn't go there. Ooh. Okay. This, the last thing I want is to get hit in the air by some flying enemy and fall down. I have to go through the stage all over again. Okay. So far, so good. Definitely not jumping that time. Yes. Making it. Haha, <laughs> I didn't even get hit by those stupid things. Knocked down into the abyss. Alright. I do find that the uh, the knockback makes a huge difference. <laughs> Alright, here we are. I don't remember what this boss is. I don't remember being too difficult though. Show you what my memory is like. Oh yeah, this the old Greenman. Fine if you just hang out over here, you're pretty safe. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, that's ridiculous. Off to sector five. Okay, here we go. Getting there bit by bit. Sector 5. See how many power? Okay, we have three energy tanks. Oh. Took an unnecessary hit there. I suppose all hits are unnecessary, but that was super unnecessary. Oh, yeah, this one's like a, a boat. Now I believe if we go down and get a fresh metal suit, which is good because I just lost it. Um, it's over there. Now I might have gone. Can I go back? I don't remember if I can go back or not. I think I can just come down that other ladder. Let's try that, shall we? This ladder. I bet you that'll take us right to it. Yes, it did. Now, how about, how do I go about doing this? Like this, I suppose. There we go. cycle. There we go. Fantastic. Okay, now, do I need to go... Let's see. Let's go back. Let's keep going right. I think, uh... I can't remember. I can't go any further that way, so I have to go down. Hopefully the contact is down here. No, it's up here. I can't 
remember any of these things. The stages are so similar. Nothing. Big old bag of nothing. Now I remember. It's like they made a room for the for the contact. I'm like, that's too easy. Okay, now. Up or down? Let's go up. Now. It's gotta be a... It's gotta be a, um... Energy tank around here somewhere, too. Oh yeah, there he is. Fantastic. And you can see the door, but you can't get to it from here. You can't get there from here. Well, that's good, we found him at least. Let's wait till he's going the other way. I'm actually not gonna go down that way, we go down this way. Excuse me. Okay, so now I definitely don't want to go back down that way. Or do I? I don't remember. Oh, okay. Here's the energy tank. That's good. Found that. Now if we go back, I wonder what's down here. Hmm. I don't I don't know. Let's go let's continue. Oh, there's a power suit over there. Fantastic. Oh, good, because I just lost it. Now, do you think we can get over there from... Or is it even worth it? That looks like a monster jump. Oh, jeez. No, I can't go that way. You can't go that way, you big dumb idiot. Okay. Having the power suit would be nice. So, let's see if we can find that. Let's go down here. Yeah, there we go. Money falling, little, little gents. Oh man. Ugh, I don't like those guys. Okay, I know. Okay. Which way do I want to go? Let's go left. Oh, that looks like a big jump too. I'm not going that way. Oh. Oh. Oh man. Things are getting hairy. No point in getting the power suit if you just lose it. Okay. If I can get back to the surface, that would be swell. Okay. Ugh. Okay. Okay. And up here was just... I honestly can't remember if this was, I'm pretty sure straight ahead is the, this is the ID guy, right? Uh, yes, he was up here. So we don't want that. Oh man, I lost it anyway. Is this, it's all falling apart. I think I want to go straight across. Yeah, okay. Somewhere I got, ugh, okay, can't make that jump. So I have to go up that middle ladder. And I can't quite reach it from there, so I have to go down to where the power suit was and is now not anymore. And I have to go left. It's gotta be. Oh! Ugh, I thought I was safe. Is that game over yet? No, it's not. You know what, I'm just gonna get game over. That seems easier. Because then I'll start back at the beginning of the stage with with the energy tank and the ID badge just no power up and I'm pretty sure I want to go straight across the top anyway and I'll be able to pick up the power up along the way let's hope that that's oh jeez a safe strategy anyway or I'll just get murdered we'll see now, okay. 
Was it this one that had the power suit down it? That all looks so similar. Um, no, it was the next one. Making good progress now. It's gotta be down this one. Yes. Okay. Now I'll go back to the surface. We'll go straight across the top. Good. Good. The power-ups are lining up for us. Okay. Alright. Okay. Nice. Perfect time for a hamburger. Ooh. It's all happening. It's all happening for us. Now, go straight up here. I think that's what I want to do, because, yeah. Right. Over there was the big bag of nothing. This is looking like what we want. Full power up. Yes. Found it, finally. Now what is behind door number five? Oh yeah, this guy. This guy's not too hard either. There's just a really small window in which you can hit him. Once he stops flashing, you can hit him. And then you gotta dodge his little green, green balls pretty easy when you have full power up because you can you can uh, hit him from so far away the boss rush that boss rush that's a hard thing to say ever try to say boss rush say it five times fast um, it's gonna be fun at the end because the bosses aren't terribly difficult but they're fun to they're fun to kill one more hit Nailed it. And we're off to sector six. Let's see what's 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 what's, what's in store in sector six, the last of the regular stages. Nothing to the left, I remember that. Pretty sure down here. Yeah, there she is. Hey girl! Hello! So, there's no mystery in where our, our contact is in this stage, which is... It's, it's very nice. It's very nice for a change. Kind of reminds me of, um... Simon's Quest, when you're like in the mansions trying to find the, the guy that sells the elk steak. Like, where is he? Oh, that was close. Okay, I gotta remember knockback is a thing. Oh, they were generous that time, didn't knock me back. Hey girl, what's up? You must be Nova. I'm your contact here. Take this ID card for Sector 6. Good luck. And back out the way we came. Now we get, I'm um, pretty sure there's some uh, disappearing blocks up here. Another classic Mega Man thinger. Yes. Oh, oh. Missed it. They don't really follow the same pattern. <laughs> they just sort of go at random. They're not, uh, not timed very well. Alright. Back on the surface. Oh, I lost my power suit. I believe there's one coming up, though. I think there's one down here. <gasps> oh, yes. That was terrifying, but successful. The power suit is so awesome. Oh, jeez. Okay. 
Now, do I want to go to the right? I don't know. Let's go up. Oh, there's the energy suit. Okay, how many do I have? I have four. Well, I guess I'll just... You know, I'm gonna leave it. Oh, I'm, I'm not doing well here. Sorry, folks. Okay, now, over this way. Is there anything over here? No, just a way down. Which is not what I want, I don't think. I want to think I want to go to the right more. That was... I think I think the only way to kill the only way to kill those uh, blue things is with the grenade. I guess I should use at least one grenade, just so you know what it looks like. That was it. I have a feeling I might have wanted to be up top there. Yeah, I bet I, bet I did. There's something good over here. Nope, there's nothing. Interesting. Hmm. I really don't know where I'm going. Let's try down here. Okay, that was the way forward from before. Guys, they move. They move way too fast. I'm sure, there's another metal suit around here somewhere that we're not locating, but it's not the end of the world if we don't find it. I think it's more down, down below somewhere. Oh, there's the door. Sign. Wait, I haven't found the. I haven't found the. Oh no, I did find. It. Oh, jeez. Okay, I was having a bit of a moment there. Right, because I did find the ID, the ID, the contact. Because it's way down here. It's the first thing we did on this this old stage here. I'm gonna try and find the mail suit though over to the... we'll go further right instead of going up so early. Maybe that will get us where we want to be. There we go. Pretty scary standing over the water like that, I'll tell ya. If we go up here... and we'll go all the way right. Let's see. Because I think I went up... I think I go down here. Yeah, okay, right, right. So there is one there. Let's get this one. Oh, it's gone, right? I'm so dumb. Because of not getting game over. Okay. I'm losing my focus here. Gotta get the red boomerang back. Makes such a big difference. Hamburgers are always welcome, though. Okay, I went up here. Oh, good, red bring me. Now, if I go... If I go to the right more... How about a hamburger? Nope, okay. No, no barbecue happening over there. Oh, oh, there's a ladder right there. I didn't notice that before. Let's go down. Aha! Oh, jeez. Should be able to go around and get it, I bet. Oh! Man, I'm just shocked I'm not getting knocked back into the water. I need to get some... need to get some health action. I, actually, in this moment... Wow, I almost died there. I can't remember if I... If I got the, if I got that energy tank or not, 
Oh, that's good. I was gonna say I was just gonna use an energy tank, but got some uh, got some good, some tasty hamburgers to fill me back up. Now, okay, now we want to go up, up and to the right. I'm pretty sure. So it's pretty fun to just sort of explore these stages. This game is so great. I remember um, I was in university when I got this game. I didn't have this as a child. There was a there was a comic book store that my, um, my friend and I used to go to a lot. To every now and then they'd have NES games for sale. And then uh, and whenever they'd get a good one, they'd put it in, in this little glass case, separate from the rest of them. And, uh, and I'd go in there with my buddy and Powerblade was, uh, was, showed up one day and I was like, man, that game looks sweet. I want to play that game. And, uh, it was, uh, it was 1795. I remember thinking at the time I had no money cause I was in school and, uh, <laughs> and I was thinking, I really want that game. My buddy's like, he's like, why don't you buy it? And I was like, it's $17.95. That's a lot for an NES game. <laughs> Which it was back then. And he's like, well, you buy a f like five $5 games, you know, in the course of a month. Why don't you just buy one $17.95 game that you want? And, and I said, that's great advice, sir. And I, and I just bought it. Oh, I'm almost out of time. Oh. Gotta kill this guy fast. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Gotta use the, use the grenades to murder him. That's the first time I've come close to running at a time. But anyway, he convinced me to buy the game, and I was so happy he did. And nowadays, you go down to your local retro game shop, this game will run you 50 bucks. Easily. Okay, so that's all six regular sectors. Off to sector seven. Oh man. There's a sinister looking fellow. Intruder alert. Peripheral security forces have been breached. Main defenses activated. He's got a sweet beard. He actually looks like a guy I know. <laughs> Attention, intruder. You are instructed to cease current activity. Further action will prove fatal. Yeah, we'll see about that. All right, Sector 7, this is the final stage. We're gonna get to find out if we get the boss rush or not. Man, I am really terrible at saying boss rush. I gotta, I gotta think about it really hard before I say it. For some reason I find that super hard to say. Okay, let's go, I think over to the right is a power suit, or a metal suit, whatever you wanna call it. Yes, there is. A yes. Okay. And I can't can't go up there. I think that, that must be a way back down. I think there's a couple, uh... Yeah, I still have, I still have four energy tanks. So, there are a couple energy tanks in the stage, I'm pretty sure, but I'll just leave them in case I have to do it again. The music is awesome. I gotta download the soundtrack. The one sound, the one, um, the one tune sounds really, really familiar to me, like, like it is ripped off from a, from a different game, but I, I played this game a lot too, so I'm, I'm not, you know, I'm not entirely sure if it's just, I'm just hearing the, the familiarity f because it's this game, but I, I don't know. Okay, so there's an energy tank. I think there's another one down here hidden by, behind that guy, but I'm not going to go down there because I don't need to. Oh, okay, I am going to go down there because this is, that's the only way I can go. Okay, it's another one of those suits. I'll just get that in case, might as well get that because if they come back. Okay, that was kind of pointless. There's the other one. Okay, so there are two. That's good to know. And there's that ladder I can go up. Swell. Getting a handle on it. Is 
So now we'll just go up into the left and not bother with that area. So there's two metal suits and two energy tanks. So if I get game over, I can get the metal suits again. But I can't get the energy tanks again. I don't think I'm going to need it. I think I can get through all the bosses with it. Four, four energy tanks is a lot. I don't think I'm going to need more than that. I don't need that hamburger. I don't know why I went back for it. Die, giant face man. Pretty, um, they're pretty forgiving with the, with the hamburgers. Oh, phew, I thought he was going to spit one more at me. Okay. Ugh. That's another th thing that's kind of weird about the game. You can't, you can't jump off of a ladder. You just sort of fall off in whatever direction you, you tell it to. And you don't go very far. So you gotta kind of... Careful, oh. There we go. Down to one more hit with my power suit. It'd be nice to have- okay. <laughs> I was about to say, it'd be nice to have it for the bosses, but I lost it. Please die, thank you. Okay. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Come on! Oh, man. You know what? I think I'll get game over. Because I'm almost on well, my last life. I'm gonna have to go through the whole stage again anyway. There's no, uh, there's no contact for for this stage. You just go to the end. And that way I can have my power suit. Oh man. So this is this is hard without power up. Oh man. Getting murdered. Wow. Wow. Wowee. Okay. What my lesson about that? Kill those guys before moving on. Wow. This is, this is something else. I better get that. It's better to have two. Oh, goodness gracious. Let's get this one first. And then I won't go to the right. That's what I'll do. I need some serious power-up action here. A long ways to go. Good. Hamburger, that's good. Okay, that's good. A little bit of... A little bit more power. That's good too. Alright. Just need the red boomerang. One more. One more star and a red boomerang will be set. I don't know what that was. Oh, I'm gonna kill this guy just in case he gives me something good. And he didn't. dead. It's dumb. Yes! Red boomerang! Fantastic. Oh, and I got a star in there somewhere. I don't know what I'm supposed to... Okay, he's dead. I really don't know what, you know, determines whether or not that guy dies or not. Oh, whoa, that was weird. Jump off. I jumped back on and went back up. It's weird. Yeah, no, I'm not, not risking getting hit again. That may 
maintain my power suit, because I'm pretty sure there's no more ahead. There's only those two that are behind. Oh, I knew that guy was there too. I can't lollygag either. I don't have all the time in the world. Okay, I'm not, I'm not making that mistake again. Good, perfect. Fantastic. Okay, here we are. Let's see. Do we fight all the bosses? Do we? Okay, this is... No, no, this is the... This is the, uh, this is the end boss, I'm pretty sure. This is really weird. I Maybe they took it out of the North American version. Maybe that was only in the... In the, uh, in the Japanese one. Okay, this is, this guy's kind of the same as the other guy. You gotta wait till he's... Till he's stopped blinking to hit him. Oop. Just focusing. Oh, I got hit again. I think it might... It'll probably fill my health again. Let's see, does it fill my health? Oh, no, here's here's form two. So I'm gonna pause as soon as possible. Fill my health. Let's just stay right under him. Give him what for. So I guess... I guess the boss rush is a lie. Must be only in the Japanese one. I'm surprised by that. Oh, unless there's... No, oh, no, that's it. Hmm. Good job, Nova. Thanks to you. The threat is over. You will receive our highest commendation. Now we must... Now we must rebuild. But this time, we will be more careful, and not surrender control to a machine. Game over. Thumbs up from Nova. Thank you. Oh, thank you. You're a great, you're a great man, Nova. I, I love your game. It's fantastic. Uh, I really think uh, Taito, they did, they did a bang up job here. I think, um, I think Natsume may, may have uh, developed it. Anyway, that's Power Blade. Can't wait to play Power Blade 2. It's, it's, uh, it's a little bit harder, but it's, it's way better. I think it's actually one of the best games on NES. And it's even more of a hidden gem because even less people have played it. But anyway, thanks a lot for watching. If you like what I'm doing here, you could subscribe. That'd be fantastic. Or, you know, hit the like button and all that garbage. And um, feel free to check out the website too, snailtoothgaming.com. Lots of cool retro gaming stuff happening over there. I like to take pictures of games and write about them. And uh, so thanks a lot for watching and we'll catch you next time.